So this is a sawbones that d does not have a bunion deformity, but it's fine for us to demonstrate the maneuver that you're going to do with the burr for the chevron. So we're using a 2 by 20 millimeter burr that's going to remove 2 millimeters of bone. So already we're shortening the metatarsal. It's important to note that the starting point for the burr is actually at the junction of the top third and inferior two-thirds of the metatarsal. It's also important from an axial perspective to note that this cut is not going to go straight across or parallel to the weight-bearing surface of the foot. It's going to be directed a little bit plantarly, 10 to 20 degrees in that plane. I'm going to direct a little bit distally to make up for our bone loss. And the first maneuver is going to go straight across. You can do this under fluoroscopy if you want. But we're going to see the burr exit out the lateral cortex of the metatarsal head. You can see it right there. The next maneuver is going to be straight up and down. Now, once again, we're going to use our fulcrum as the, the we're going to use our incision as the fulcrum. We're not going to directly translate our burr up. We're going to rotate our hand down. And in doing so, we're going to bring up the distal part of the burr and affect a cut in the distal portion of the metatarsal. So we're going to rotate our hand like this and perform our cut like that. Okay? So then the plantar limb is going to be more horizontal. It's going to be more parallel to the weight bearing surface of the foot. It's not going to be completely parallel, but it's going to be it's going to be basically sort of a shallow chevron in this direction. In order to affect that cut, we're going to actually Put the burr back in all the way across, and you can use fluor fluoroscopy, or we're looking at it directly um, in the saw bones. And once again, instead of translating the burr this way, pushing the burr this way, we're actually going to rotate our hand in such a manner as when we're done, our, our burr is almost parallel with the big toe. And depending on which foot you're using, depending on which hand you're using, you might want to use a farmer's grip or a pencil grip. In this case, I'm going to use a pencil grip. It doesn't deliver as much force, but allows you to have more control. In addition, I'm going to have my long finger on the toe, on the medial border of the foot, to give me more stability. So I'm rotating. I'm doing a little bit of sawing, a little bit of rotating. And you can see what my hand's doing there. And there's our cut. You can see it's a shallow chevron cut, just like we planned. It's important to note that as you're rotating this hand, almost ends up superior to your phalanx as you're coming up and over to complete the cut. Yeah, if you come too horizontal or too parallel with the phalanx, then you'll make a very long plantar limb of your chevron, and that's going to be much harder to displace because we're not doing any soft tissue stripping here.